Hey everyone, this is Carter with First Updates Now. Today I'm at the Michigan State Championship with Team 1684, the Chimeras. They have a beautifully packaged robot, a pivoting climb or a pivoting uh, climber and shooter, under the bumper intake, and so much more. Let's check it out on this episode of Behind the Bumpers. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, so can we talk a little bit about the strategy you guys had going into the season, what you guys decided to do, what you decided not to do, and how that changed throughout the season? Yeah, so at the beginning of the season, we immediately decided that we wanted to have a really small robot to deal with the different amount of choke points that are in the field, so our robot would be able to travel around the field freely and not have to worry about getting caught between things like the stage and the walls. So when we had that design, we had a bunch of different things that we wanted to input with that. Uh, one of that was at the beginning of the season, we had an over the bumper intake, which was attached to our arm here. Uh, after our first competition Kettering, we decided that we wanted to switch to an under the bumper intake. So we took our strategy from wanting to do that to having an under bumper one that we had here. Um, a few other things we changed throughout our strategy is we changed the way that our shooter pivot from our different uh, competitions we had. Uh, we also changed our climber mechanism a bit throughout our competitions. Awesome. Can we move on to the intake? Let's start in the note path. So the way that our intake works is our note is going to travel through on the ground because we have a ground intake. It'll hit this back roller here, uh, go up through our system, and it'll get passed off to the shooter. It's a pretty uh, simple design that we've been running. Any iterations or uh, different things that you've tried for rollers and materials? Yeah, so uh, one thing we added for states, I believe, is we added uh, two rollers on the side here. So that helps with getting the note more centered when it's uh, passing into our queue system. Are those uh, active rollers? Uh, no, they are not. It is just a uh, roller running on a piece of hex shaft, so the note is just freely able to go through. It just acts more as a guide for it. That's a really smart idea. Can we move on to the transfer system and the uh, shooter system? Yeah, so uh, this shooter here, um, as you can see, it's tilted up, and it picks it up from our intake directly through these Q rollers. Um, once it's inside, we have our shooter lined with PTF tape to uh, allow a slick, uh, low friction pass through the note. Um, and you can see up here, as we have only three wheels and a phony wheel, that's to allow us to give spin on our note and to keep the note from flopping sideways when it comes out of our shooter. And as Millie mentioned, down here, our shooter is pivoted on a lead screw that allows us to go all the way down and all the way up uh, via the operator. And that was one of the things that you said you had changed between events, correct? Yeah. What did you used to have there? Uh, so originally, our first design was a, like a, a single thread lead screw, but we found that it had a lot of slop in it. And then we changed to what we called the chainsaw, and it was a belt on two gears that drove the shooter up and down off a pivot point. And then we switched back to a lead screw by the design of one of our mentors with a five thread lead screw that has almost eliminated all the slop and is extremely accurate. Awesome. And then the uh, the four wheels here, Have you, did you always have just the three wheels? And no, the actually, dummy wheel? this is a recent change that we made before we came to States here. Uh, before we came, we had another wheel here. We decided we want to try uh, with the spin because originally we were shooting out and it was kind of flopping into the speaker. So we figured we'd try it out and it's been working great for us so far. Awesome, I'm really glad to hear it. Can we move on to the climber subsystem? So uh, our climber was always on these arms and it started off with the hooks being much lower because we had different blocks up here. Uh, and then we got rid of the over the bumper intake, got smaller blocks, we were able to get these higher. Uh, all they do is they have a winch down at the bottom and it just, pulls it down all the way. They're both uh, run with the same winch, but can move separately on their own. Awesome. Can we uh, get this thing moving? Can we send a note into it and show the climber? All right, mechanically it's looking beautiful so far. Let's move on to the software side of things. Can we talk about all the different sensors and uh, encoders and cameras that you guys use? Yeah, so as far as sensors, we have um, 
three beam brake sensors that uh, sense where the note is in the robot. Uh, we have one here on the front of the intake so we know right when the note has entered the intake. Then we have one here and we have one here and we this one's very important because we use this one to stop the note before it hits the shooter wheels. So that way we can have the shooter spun up and it does not send the note through. Um, then encoders, uh, we have an encoder that senses the angle of our shooter. And we have another encoder that senses the angle of our arm. And so we, we can accurately tilt either the arm or the shooter. Then we, for cameras, we have a, a limelight here on the front of the robot. And this reads the April tags around the field and using the limelight, we can tell where the robot is. And based on our coordinates on the field, we can accurately, we, we know where the speaker is. And so we aim the robot to where the, towards the speaker. And we can always, we can always hit the, score the note into the speaker no matter where we are on the field within reason. Right, um, right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, overall, beautifully packaged robot. That's my favorite thing about it. Aesthetically pleasing. Software sounds awesome. Overall, fantastic performance so far at the state championship. I'm looking forward to see how you guys do the rest of the weekend. This is Carter with First Updates Now, signing off. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support.